What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back. In, well, we're starting in the world of Metro Last Light. This is a brand new game for me. I haven't done it myself, personally. I uh, never played any of the Metro series myself, so this will be a first one. What we are doing here, uh, we are playing the Ranger difficulty. I am not doing Ranger Hardcore because, well, I really didn't want my, you know, anus getting completely wrecked. So, we are going to just do... The normal ranger mode which i think should be plenty sufficiently challenging for this poor crazy redneck but uh you know on the off chance it's a little too easy we can go ahead and uh start it back up from there now we did miss two cutscenes. i wanted to go ahead and give you guys the uh kind of the feedback from those two cutscenes uh, due to copyright reasons i'm kind of limiting those the first cutscene, basically uh, when the world got it looked like it got nuked uh, you were out with your mom at a Arboretum and you survived. She did not um, And you wanted to see her face again. Well, you can't remember you can remember everything else about the day But you can't remember what her face looked like So you as a bunch of kids went back to the Arboretum through the train station and it seems like you left the door open and The bad guys came through. They're called these dark ones I don't know anything about them other than the fact that they're supposedly really tall, really scary, really badass, and uh, I'm just a little worried. This is a survival horror type game. Um, we are going to be playing with uh, limited HUD, so I'm a little worried. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. Good for you. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. Oh. What the? Oh, shit. What happened? Uh, sound like some people shit. just got their fucking asses kicked. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I counted at least four possible. What the sh shit? Why are they turning into my friends? Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Okay. And apparently they can cloak. And they have giant fingers. Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Holy shit. Nightmares, eh? No wonder. After all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive. And I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact. Before you launched the missile strike against them. <laughs> Before you them. nuked the shit out Khan. of them. How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Um... Khan, if that's the tall, to dark, invisible things that makes me murder my friends, I don't know if I want to talk to that guy at all. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. Okay. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. Alright. Wow, this is a nice and depressing little location. We found this place of Arthur, but I still can't get used to it. Strange He's place is these rocking out there. I didn't know they were Damn, now this is my room right here. Other the fact it looks like he's vigorously jacking off to that weapon. That's a little creepy. Artyom was one of the men who found these six. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. So they're just playing check. You. Why is there all that blood looking like? 
coming up. Oh, you shouldn't flip oh, that gun around like yeah, that, dude. Look at those two rookies. Pathetic. No wonder the color or the training time double. Keep your back straight. Romanov's the only one who makes it there alive. You're shitting me. Okay. The rest of the group, wiped out? I would like to make a 47. Welcome to the armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? Would be correct, you must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. Sounds good. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. Okay. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. You do realize a gas there mask isn't going to stop radiation, metro, right? Down. Right? No? Oh, okay. Um... Are you done talking to me now? Am I supposed to pick something up? Oh, Don't e. forget filters for the mask. For sure okay. it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. All right. Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, oh your pay is in military grade rounds. Oh. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage. But saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. I only get 10 bullets a month? What the hell is wrong with you people? Haha, <laughs> alright. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take like the guns. ones you want and try them out on my range. Oh, I get to pick? Okay. Um, oh. Oh, damn, dude, that thing looks badass. Uh, what is this down here? Okay. Whoa, 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 The rifle made in Metro by skilled gunsmiths. It is extremely accurate and powerful. A truly great long-distance weapon. The Kalashnikov. Great by every Russian everywhere. The classic pre-war assault rifle. Despite being great combat, it is held in very high regard in the Metro due to its reliability and performance. The RPK. Classic pre-war light machine gun has great range and is very precise, at the same time being able to handle long bursts. A shorter version of the Eklashnikov, with a folding stock that is very high rate of fire, but does not have the range or accuracy of its sibling. The bastard! This makeshift SMG has high rate of fire, which makes it overheat and jam rather rapidly. Hence the weapon's name, the bastard. Uh, are there any other weapons? I'm a little worried about hitting. Oh! Oh, damn, the Shambler. The revolving shotgun is very effective at close range and stays so even at medium range, but takes quite some time to fully reload. Oh, yeah. Simple and reliable weapon produced in Metro has great stopping power, but kicks like a mule. All right, so... From what I understand, in the game that we're going, or the type of gameplay we're going, we're going to be dealing with a lot of sneaky type situations. You guys know I like sniper rifles, so we're going with the Make sniper. Sure you take a close range weapon with that one. Rifles are good for long range targets. All right. You don't want to get caught with your pants down if something creeps up behind. So, I'm thinking at this point I can either do the AKSU, which is going to be hardcore uh, rapid fire. I can go with the shotgun, which is what I'm leaning towards. Or I can do the six shooter. I'm thinking the shotgun. That right there will wreck anything that gets even ridiculously close to me. Yes, yes. We're doing that one. Shotguns are always good for stopping power at close range. Yep. Just don't go try to snipe with one. Wait, you can customize this thing? How do I customize it? Oh! Is there no better one? Okay, alright, fair enough. Silencer on it? 
hides the muzzle flash and slightly muffles the shots, decreasing the shot spread. Shot speed is also decreased, leading to more fall-off damage. Or we can use uh, extended barrel, makes shotgun more efficient at medium and long range by tightening butt shot spread pattern. I like that, so we're gonna use that one. Fuck silencer. It's a damn shotgun. This ain't the old country of old men. This is reality. We're gonna do fucking long barrel on this bitch. That way, in case I need to, when they're running away from me, I can just go ahead and finish them off. And can we put a scope on it as well? Uh, might as well, why not? Alright. So we have, and I don't think there's any other, no, there's nothing else we can do with that one. Alright. Good hunting. Come visit us soon. Come visit us soon. Alright. Like it down. Well, can I test it? Holy shit balls, Batman! Dude, this thing looks fucking ridiculous! Uh, you gonna send me another one? Alright, let's try this one out. Come on, buddy. Alright. Cool. Nope, we know how they work now. That's all I got. Is there a knife button? D is knife. Okay. No, oh, I think we are good to go. Did you hear the order? You're not to disclose the fact that D6 has been found to anyone in the middle. We're for damn sure. No way. The base is clear. At least the party was are calling in. the group leaders in. Dude, this, this is going to be a bit ridiculous. What's up, bro? Him? How you doing? You, you chilling? It's a nice little knife you got there. Oh, it's the red phone! Can I order a pizza? <laughs> Have you heard about Lisnitsky? Lisnitsky? What are you about? Check with the guards at the lab. Code 44. What the hell did he do? Opening up. What's a code 44? That doesn't sound good. All right, let's go. Lisnitsky. That is an awesome Russian name, dude. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this. What the hell are you talking to, bro? Cut that shit out! Whoa. The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Whoa, you're a little close Cold to me, bro. Steel and wild steeds and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts. Or their own greed. How does greed kill you? Come, will you shut up or what? Okay. I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Uh -oh. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons. Oh, that's not good. Ship. Colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. Hey, if it's your happen. soul, it's better than your ass, right? Alright, let's go. Okay. Whoa. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. The nooks and <laughs> crannies. They base the order dream of finding. Oh, dude, that looks badass. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones here. Miller ordered all our hell. men assembled here on this base. Let's hear what he has to say at the assembly. Damn, that shit is bright as hell. Herman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, go on. Yet. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. Oh, dude, I don't like the sound of this. Whoa, I may have to lower the settings a bit. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. <clears throat> What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? 
Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. Dude, evolution. <laughs> survival of the fittest is still survival of the fittest. All right, Artyom, and you, God. You oh, have damn, something girl. to report? How you doing, comrade? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Oh, great. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. Ah, oh, great. I'll send a sniper along. Ooh, my best. Anna. Hey, what's up, Anna? Oh, did the game just freeze on me? Really? Are you fucking serious?